Hi, I'm Michel Haslungs, part of the Global Solution Management Organization at SAP, responsible for the area of financial planning and analysis. In this video, I'd like to focus on how SAP can support organizations to not only get full insight in the financial performance of their increasingly complex global supply chains, but steer and optimize their end-to-end -end value chain, or in short, the concept of value chain analysis. From a business perspective, there's a real paradigm shift ongoing, which we should focus on from a management accounting side, the high-speed change in the way we do business. The evolution towards subscription-based business models is one aspect, but behind these and other more established business models, also the continuous globalization of supply chains is becoming more and more complex. An evolution which is driven by competition and customer behavior, driving organizations to find the best possible balance between the highest possible quality at the lowest possible cost. On top, the push towards the circular economy, the importance of understanding the impact of sustainability aspects and non-monetary indicators as yet another dimension to the overall complexity of the overall financial performance of these supply chains, or rather, value chains. Value chains of international organizations span across the globe, whereby they include supplying from third-party vendors or affiliates, producing in company locations, involving subcontractors or third-party carriers for transportation. So how can we optimize where we source, produce and sell as cost-effective as possible to maximize our financial performance? How can we get the necessary insights in the impact of tax on our value chain? How can we get insights in the impact of cost breakdowns, failed transports, suppliers that cannot deliver and so on? For the finance organization to answer these and many other related business questions, an end-to-end -end view on all connected steps in the value chain is required. And that's exactly where many organizations are struggling. They are not able to create this full visibility on their end-to-end -end value chain due to media and system breaks, often caused by the lack of recording the complete material and activity flows. Different typical root causes for this can be identified, including the use of multiple system instances like different ERP systems for each regional hub, structural differences in accounting like different materials numbers, chart of accounts, profit centers, or profitability segments. Or a missing handshake in logistics, transfer of ownership, stock in transit, and so on. And even if these breaks don't exist, often the complete corporate value chain is only visible on a consolidated level. However, customers expect real-time information for decision-making, multi-level product costing information with intercompany profit eliminated, consistent currency handling, and of course, compliance with regards to IFRS regulations, including IS 18, 2, and 21. This is exactly the purpose of SAP's concept of value chain analysis, the ability to have a full visibility of the entire material and activity value chain in real time. So why is this so important? It does not just provide the transparency to find opportunities to lower operational costs for each activity or step in the chain through close collaboration with the supply chain process owners. It also opens the door to look at new potential ways of working, reshaping the supply chain and as a result the value chain and so identify improvement potential from a legal business unit, division and or group perspective. Another benefit value chain analysis brings is to measure performance of the sales teams based on not just revenue, but the consolidated margins for the entire cross-company value chain. As the end-to-end -end value chain provides the full connected activity network up to the final sale to the final customer on top of all predecessor activities. Besides sales team performance measurement, this also serves as a basis to optimize cost of sold product without compromising quality. This can only be done if access is provided to continuous financial information on revenues, cost of goods sold, on each of these organization levels. Delivering these insights on different organization levels automatically brings us to the aspect of intercompany revenues and cost of goods sold. The idea of value chain analysis is to eliminate intercompany revenues and consider corresponding COGS on transactional level. This innovation impacts the way management consolidation and group costing could be handled in the future. This brings up 
Another benefit, the possibility to run an efficient finance organization by harmonizing external and internal accounting and consultation perspectives. To get such transparency, as mentioned, the basic condition is to record accurate material and activity flows along the end-to-end -end process going across different parts of the organization. In other words, the value chain is a result of operational processes and documents like purchase orders, sales orders, material documents and movements that are continuously registered within SAP s on a transactional level. For each step in the chain, value-added information like costs and quantities from different views like currencies and valuations is stored. This information is recorded within the Universal Journal, which acts as the single business foundation or financial truth across the organization, enhanced and extended by additional dimensions on top of the step of the value chain. To cope with the complexity of multiple currencies and valuations and ensure a transactional follow-up in real time can be ensured, the use of multiple accounting principles is required not just for legal accounting but especially for managerial purposes. With the universal parallel accounting, a harmonized way of managing parallel valuations is introduced in SAP s This serves as the technical foundation and basis for making the concept of value chain analysis a reality in the future. A different ledger per accounting principle as a universal solution for the general ledger and all sub-ledgers. This ensures full alignment between financial and managerial accounting and enables improved and extended currency management. For more details on the principle and availability of universal parallel accounting within s we refer to the dedicated video on this topic. But setting focus back on the concept of value chain analysis, the concept not only focuses on financial performance, so focusing on the bottom line, but also serves as a basis to create insights in the green line or the environmental impact of business decisions. The sustainability topic at large is becoming increasingly important at high pace. It is therefore key to understand that a key dimension of the value chain analysis vision is to carry non-financial dimensions such as CO2 equivalents across the entire value chain, thereby making it possible to balance between corporate profitability, tax and environmental aspects when analyzing or designing the next generation value chain. With this, we've shared the concept of value chain analysis with SAP is converting into a solution going forward. Thank you for your attention and I'm looking forward to discussing this topic with you in more detail.